With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello students. The question says that a concave mirror is used for image formation for different positions of an object. What inferences can be drawn about the following? When an object is placed at a distance of 10 cm from the pole of a concave mirror of focal length 15 cm, A part position of the image, B part size of the image, C part is nature of the image and draw a labeled ray diagram to justify your inferences. So first of all it is talking about a concave mirror. So basically in concave mirror focal length is negative. So from the given question if we write down the data focal length is given to be minus 15 centimeter. Object distance u is given as minus 10 centimeter. So first of all let us find the position of image. So by using the mirror formula 1 upon v plus 1 upon u is equal to 1 by f. So on putting the value u is given to be minus 10 and f is given to be minus 15. So 1 upon v becomes minus 1 by 15 plus 1 by 10 and on solving it by cross multiplication method it becomes minus 10 plus 15 upon 150. So v becomes 150 upon 5. And on solving it comes out to be plus 30 centimeter. This is the position of the image that is plus 30 centimeter. Now comes about the size of the image. So first of all let us calculate the magnification. So magnification is minus of V by U. So on putting the value of V it is plus 30 and u is minus 10 so the value of m comes out to be plus 3 now since the value of m is more than 1 so the image formed is magnified and the last part is asking about the nature of the image so the nature of the image is since m is plus plus means the image formed is virtual virtual images are always erect and since the value of m is more than 1 it is magnified now let us see how the ray diagram of this question will look so first of all let us draw the concave mirror and this is the silvering of the mirror then drawing the principal axis of the mirror this is the principal axis of the mirror and let us label down the values uh, this is the pole let this be focus this be the center of curvature now your object is kept between pole and focus so it is somewhat kept near like this now to trace the ray diagram we will take a light ray which is parallel to the principal axis like this and after reflection it will pass through the focus of the mirror and we will take one more light ray which will originate from the tip of the object travel to pole and it will reflect back with the same angle as it was incident upon now as you can see these two incident light rays are not meeting in the forward direction so when they are produced backwards so on producing them backwards these two light ray will meet somewhere here at this point so the image formed will be behind the mirror and if we can just draw the image this will be the image of the object ab so let us label the thing this is the object a b and this is the image a dash b dash and this distance we have got as 30 centimeter this distance is 10 centimeter 
and the focal length is your 15 centimeter and as you can see the image formed is virtual erect and magnified and it is behind the mirror so i hope the solution is clear to you thank you very much for class 6 to 12 itj and neat level trusted by more than 5 crore students download doubt and app today